Train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Land Bodybuilding, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about why I don't usually do alternating curls. Now, it's a very common exercise out there for bicep curls. A lot of people, they'll do one dumbbell at a time. They'll curl one, concentrate at the top, and, and lower down the weight, and then you know, rest the other arm, and then they rest this arm, and then they go to the other arm, and they go back and forth, right? I have nothing against that technique. That technique is fine, and I'm sure it has certain advantages. I'm sure that as long as you keep that resting arm slightly bent, so that way there's tension maintained on the bicep brachii, I do believe that you can still get great results from alternating dumbbell curls. And I knew guys who did get great results from alternating dumbbell curls. But that said, for myself, there are a couple of reasons why I usually do both dumbbells together. Now, one of the reasons is that I'm trying to hit exhaustion in a muscle as fast as possible. And I do feel that when I'm having one arm hang at the side of the body, that there are certain stabilizer muscles in my shoulder or rotator cuff that start to come into play along with the forearm, like the gripping muscles that start to come into play as far as adding to the overall exhaustion, but not necessarily exhaustion of the peak of the bicep or the part of the bicep I want to hit, you know, the brachii itself, that muscle belly. So again, if you're looking just to exhaust the forearms or the grip strength, or maybe add a few other components into the exhaustion principle into your exercise, there's nothing wrong with doing alternating dumbbell curls. But for the reason of me wanting to hit the brachii specifically is why I usually do both dumbbells together at the same time. Now the other thing, and this is maybe a subjective thing or maybe it's a theory that I have, but I have noticed that when I hit exhaustion as fast as possible in a muscle, that is a certain type of stimulus instead of hitting exhaustion over a longer period of time. So one could say like time under tension or you know how long does your set last. And when you're taking these rest pause moments, you are taking tension off that area that you want to supremely fatigue at least partially. So what I find is that when I do both dumbbells together, that I, I'm able to really concentrate that tension on the muscle belly and hit exhaustion as fast as possible and therefore get more results. That's, that's what I always did. I, I got the most results from that. You know, the only thing that kind of messed up my bicep training uh, in the back of the day was when I dislocated my shoulder when I started playing hockey and also when I partially tore this rotator cuff and, you know, and also partially tore this bicep because of a chiropractor yanking on my arm the wrong way. So those parameters basically totally threw off my bicep training. So now I have to be even more accountable to how I fire the bicep. Because if somebody has a really healthy labrum and they hang their arm at their side, their shoulder isn't going to wobble all over the place or not quite so much. Where my shoulder has a tendency to do that because there's no labrum holding it into the joint. So I have to make sure that I have extra amount of tension on the bicep in order to make sure that that bicep hits failure instead of the rotator cuff muscles or delts or, or whatever, right? So that's another factor or another reason why you do see me do both dumbbells together for the most part. Now, I'm not saying I'll never do alternating curls. Once in a while, I'll just mess around with them. But most of the time when you see me train biceps, you'll see me do both arms together and hit failure as fast as possible in that bicep brachii. And yes, I keep the arms slightly bent at the bottom on purpose because this helps stabilize the shoulder joint and at the same time maintain tension on the bicep. So I like doing inclines mostly. That's why I showed you the alternating curls on the incline because I do find the incline bench offers a bit of a stretch in the muscle belly or a better one than standing. Now, when I am doing standing dumbbell curls, I do enjoy those too. They are different, but I enjoy them uh, for different reasons. The tension seems to be distributed differently because the shoulder girdle 
is positioned differently and that can also affect how much you're firing your bicep. So I make sure that I lean back and stick the chest out when I'm doing my standing dumbbell curls and it's like a slight incline but not as much of an incline as when I'm laying on a bench here, right? So yeah, I hope that explains why I'm doing dumbbell curls two arms at a time. Now let's, uh, let's play this arcade machine in the back here because I know somebody in the comments said they used to play R-Type all the time. So hey, let's show you a little bit of gameplay of R-Type on this arcade machine and then uh, yeah, if you don't want to stay tuned for that, thanks a lot to the Patreon supporters and if you need to get home, just go to naturalandbodybuilding.com and now let's go play a video game, right? I already trained, you already listened to the information, now let's play a video game for a second, okay? Yeah. Are right, you guys ready? Right, let's do some more time here. This game's pretty fun because uh, if you guys haven't played it before, you got this power up here, you got this special bomb type of thing. And then you can get uh, extra, like, okay, again, I'm not concentrating, this is just, BS. I'll be YouTube famous if I can get a high score. Huh? YouTube. So yeah, you can get a power and then you can basically get this other shielding slash firing type device attached to the spaceship. So it's pretty fun. Here it is. Boom. And then you press the right button and then it goes right to the back or the front. See it shoots on a se separate and you can also, it's like a boomerang actually attract it back to you. And then it blocks, blocks bullets. So I can just, just walk right through guys. Well, I can't walk through that. If you haven't played R-Type in a while, you know, uh, I definitely recommend you go over to your buddy's house and play it for a little bit. It's actually pretty addictive for a shoot 'em up I have to say, I'm not really a big shoot 'em up guy these days. I thought I would be, but I do like 1942 and a few of these other games, but uh, I don't know, I've been kind of going to the simple games mostly lately. I don't know why. Although I have been playing some uh, some golf on a PlayStation on here, because I got the PlayStation games on here too. See, the bullets can't go past this thing. Although there's certain guys that have uh, powerful kind of bullets, then they can uh, they can hit you with powerful lasers or missiles. So yeah, if you want your squat or your bench press or your bicep curl to go up, just uh, play more video games. That's that's really the secret. People don't realize. Twitch streamers are all jacked, except for Proper Penguin OG. He's he's skinny. He's a run. I know Proper Penguin. He plays on Twitch. Proper Penguin OG. He has a YouTube channel. He does uh, Call of Duty type stuff, and uh, yeah, he, he could train a little bit more. Hey, hey there, Mike. Yeah, yeah. I hey, get him training. I noticed he hasn't bought any of my workout programs, but but if he was a good man, he probably would. Okay, so you see now you got a shield at the top here, so now you feel pretty invincible. And I got all sorts of like colorful lasers and stuff. It's just way easier than training, you know? You just get a couple power ups and then all of a sudden you're invincible. I don't have to work out, no squatting, no bench pressing, no eating endless amounts of chicken breast. I just basically press this button enough times and then I become invincible. See, that, that's much easier than doing sets of squats at four or 500 pounds, huh? See? I think us bodybuilders have probably been missing out. I think, I think maybe we got to revisit our entire philosophy. Okay, now I got a boss man here. This is what you're tuning in for. I gotta wait till he opens his mouth. Come on, open your mouth, buddy. There you go, got him. Simple, there you go. So, there you go. Got past the first level, art type and uh, this has been brought to you by naturalgallantbodybuilding.com, and uh, I'll see you soon. Natural Land.